Where are you, Oz? All right. So for anybody who's unfamiliar or uh, isn't really, you know, is unfamiliar with Batman, um, Oswald uh, Cobblepot, as it shows right there, um, is one of the villains in the game uh, who is known as the Penguin. Um, just in case you didn't know his actual name. But yeah, as I was saying before, like, he's usually very rotund and, like, short and small, kind of that of a penguin. Uh, but he seems to be very, very lithe and, you know, skinny and stuff. And that's interesting um, that they take that, that route. I like it. I appreciate that they're not, like, just being completely nonsensical and um, cartoonish about it. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Oh, no, but I was wanting to look at the... I was trying to look at the newspaper. Okay, let's. We're gonna go back now because I didn't get to look at the things I was trying to look at, and that's kind of important potentially. All right, let's look at that. <coughs> Why are you coughing? What's wrong with you? Got the plague or something? That's a good. Little thumbnail shot right there. Okay, so that was completely inconsequential. No reason for me to have done it. But hey, you never know. Maybe something something would have come of that. I can't be certain, you know? Oh, a homeless person. Gross. Hey. Get off my street. It's not mine, but it's also not a street. Really? Jeez, man. Thank you, sir. You must have, like, the flu or something. <laughs> so, yeah, since this is, like, Batman Year One, um, I'm guessing that Cobblepot, like, just kind of lost his fortune. And, you know, obviously... I, they're obviously both very young. They're both, like, probably in their... I'd say mid-twenties, most likely. He has okay. He has a smartphone. Great. Running late, meet you by the statue. There's the statue, but no Oz. Hmm. I'm guessing he has some uh, malicious feelings towards Bruce. That's usually kind of how this goes. Man, you do like he's he's not even having any sort of internal monologue. It's just look at this thing. Look at this thing. Don't you like those things that you just looked at? I think it's very lacking in any sort of interactivity. I never understood why they did that. Why not just have it there? Like why have an option to like go out of your way to look at it, you know? If there's not gonna be any sort of reflection. Well, that isn't what it used to be. I will admit, this is kind of sad. Like, for, for you know, Co like Oswald, if specifically. It's kind of sad for him, just because, you know... This is his fucking family. It's just being defaced. It's like the remembrance of his family. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. That's cute. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him! Alright. That's how you want to be? Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, alright? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. I appreciate that they kept him British. Oh, shit. All right, then. Oh, that's not good. Not sure how he didn't see that. This used to be a nice place. No 
Sometimes I give up along. Oh. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That looked like this that could have broken a nose. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little. Uh... Yeah, so do you. <laughs> yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. Okay, pausing real quick. Uh, another explanation. I know I'm not doing the whole, like, stupid Playboy thing right now. Um, to clarify why that's not happening at this exact moment is because this is like an old friend. So it's just like, he kind of knows him better, probably. And also, you know, the dude's lost a lot. So it's like, I don't feel as though Bruce would be a dick. In a scenario like this, especially after the situation that just happened, I don't know, it just feels like the, it's an inappropriate moment to be somebody that he's not. It, you know, it's just, it's it, it's better to be transparent, uh, you know, emotionally at this moment. Anyway. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I'll have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although... I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side.
Good so there's a little built-up resentment there. I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. And once again, completely undo. But hey, it is what it is. A revolution. Interesting. That's a little different from what I remember the penguin to be. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I feel like the motives generally for Penguin are to get is to get his money back. It's like to to bring back the funds that he lost through his family through crime, right? Because it's a quicker way to do it. Whereas this, it seems more like he has just a general resentment for anybody who's rich because he's not rich anymore, which doesn't seem as logical or um, sympathetic of a motivation. You know, it seems just kind of silly, but eh, maybe we'll... It's the first this episode. Way, over here, Remains right here. to be seen. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty sure you have enough photos, guys. Of Bruce Wayne? Never. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility, in the hope that a night like that never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne, and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I will say that was well done, though. Well performed. Good job, Troy Baker. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vail. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. Ah, let's start, let's start being a playboy again. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Being stupid. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone uh -oh. and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? 
Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Wow. Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What the fuck is going on? Do you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? Uh, something's Sorry, telling me Cobblepot has something Damage to do with this. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. I hate to be the guy doing your taxes. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Yeah, I feel like this is a combination of Hill and Cobblepot. Oh, no. He really just destroyed a picture of his family. Ah, yeah, okay. Go on now. Obligatory flashback, right? Bruce, stay back. Take whatever yep. you want. You, you don't have to do this. Ah, so I'm, I'm guessing Vicky Vale is going to be like the the love interest or something. I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. Mm -hmm. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. 
flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. Yeah, this the press sounds saw like the it. fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. It's not just Hill, though. You're the first target on Hill's list. I, I don't buy that. It's not just him. It is him, but it's By not tonight, just him. This scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters. Not wild speculation. Turn it off, Miss Vale. Oh, but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. Those consequences never fucking matter. So I'm just thinking, you know, it kind of it just makes sense. Like I keep your mouth shut it, until you can do something as Batman. Smoke. You know, A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents' it's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Nobody will suspect I'm a crime-fighting vigilante if I'm shaking hands with Falcone. Ah, uh, you fucking idiots. <laughs> 